morning. Um, thank you, Bart, of the wine. is a lover who referred to a period of history where the economy of vine growing becomes model for growth and change. The San Cugat of the Wine is therefore one of the pillars of the local historical narrative and generator of a major heritage in the current historic urban landscape. This presentation focuses on the management of this asset in which the city council where I work as heritage officer in its museum becomes one of the main agents. In my opinion, the main concern is conservation of the urban landscape, how to preserve its historicity its ability to convey the spirit of a society, to keep the authentic and genuine character of the place, and give tools for citizens to explore common identity and expand critical thinking. Uh, the city of San Cugat dates back to medieval times, when the, mon the monastery of San Cugat promoted the cultivation of the land and the creation of masias, the traditional farms, and a village next to it. From the 18th century, vine cultivation became a major issue in rural San Cugat and the motor of change. From the end of the 19th century, the rural village has developed to become a residential city of services thanks to the proximity and good communications with Barcelona and its appeal as a town with little industry and a friendly urban environment. Today, there are 90,000 people with a, a high proportion of newcomers in recent years. We focus now on, on the San Cugat of the Wine. Uh, Catalonia lives in the 18th and 19th centuries, a strong economic moment based in part on, on wine growing. Northern Europe and America asked for wines and spirits. The Catalan countryside, which used to produce wine and, in, at a minor scale, become so specialized that models a new landscape, the economy, and social relations. This also occurs in San Cugat. Uh, vines spread around and occupy ancient forests. Today, this landscape, uh, landscape has disappeared. It's uh, forest again. But to keep the, the uh, masias, they adapted their facilities to accommodate the increase in the production of wine. The most common solution was the addition of the cellar at the back of the house, north side to avoid sun and to enhance the condition of winemaking. But every farm is a small world, so we have from modest premises to develop, to develop production facilities driven by investors. Half of 42 standing farms still preserve, but we don't use anymore, some of the wine infrastructure. Uh, and then the village uh, grows, and it does so by following new guidelines that shape a new urban landscape. The work on, of the vineyard requires more manpower and needs and new families arrive. They grow small plots of vineyards in ownership or as travasiders and make wine at home. We identify two phases of growth. The first one, uh, late 18th century, mid 19th century. Uh, the old medieval village grows following the ancient roads and opening new streets. The new houses follow a very regular pattern, very simple in fabric and composition, but very effective in landscape rhythm. This corresponds with the austerity of peasants and the need for quick and economical housing. They are built with brick. The facade has a molded arch uh, doorway and only two windows, and nothing else. Inside, the one floor houses the workspaces, the kitchen, and the wine cellar where, uh, with a bath where grapes were tread on and machinery and tools to make uh, the wine. On the second half of the 19th century, a new quarter is developed around a new square especially in the 1870s, uh, 1880s, in conjunction with a new boost on winemaking. At this time, the French wine goes into crisis because of the fuel oxidant and the demand for Catalan wines increases. That provokes a gold rush uh, that will suddenly, will end suddenly with the arrival of the plic here, uh, around 1887 in San Cugat. This new housing shows higher quality standards in keeping with the situation of economic boom. Houses are higher with more and wider windows to improve air and light conditions. They are also embellished with ornament, ornamental elements such as the typical balustrades on the top. Inside, the cellar continues to be essential. These one maker houses are still the essence of the historical center uh, but each time alterations are greater and reduce the areas where that still remain the initial charter. Now some milestones. The art in pottery 
uh, it provided tableware, tiles for wine, wine vats, and terracotta ornaments for the houses built during the wine gold rush. And the cooperative winery, this is the flagship of our heritage of the wine, and a, a final and collective milestone and a small architectural jewel. The crisis of the phylloxera plague uh, was overcome 10 years later, but winemaking uh, would never be the same anymore. Overproduction and selling at a loss will matter the following years. Winemaking will survive in many places by means of creating a cooperative cellar where partners could bring their waves to make wine more efficiently and sell it at the best price. In 1921, the local cooperative cellar is created and will articulate economic and social life of local peasants until 1988. The winemaking room, designed by architect Cesar Martinell, is a magnificent uh, building. Next to this architect architectural heritage, we also have a wide range of artifacts and documents that give an account of other aspects of the world. Technology in the field and in the cellar, related activities like construction or transport, domestic life, social relations, associative and political activism, activism etc. Now, uh, what is being done with, about this? Uh, the city has carried out some actions to preserve this heritage and to make it work. But in my opinion, there is still a lack of coordinated work to give enough coherence and strength to each of the actions. There is some work going on in this direction. Uh, knowledge and research. The tradition of wine uh, in the city is grasped at a popular level, but I would say that it is, it is in the last few years that we have become aware of the real scope of the mark of this past in the city today. Uh, since the launching of the museum, archaeological research, both underground and on architecture, is applied systematically, and this has allowed us to see this reality. A big uh, progress has been done in the identification of the heritage of the wine, but we need to deepen this knowledge and social, economical, and cultural background. Uh, conservation. This is the real great challenge, especially when we refer to modest housing. These are the main problems that affect in general. Uh, the degree of alteration of buildings and ensembles, which make it difficult to be aware about its potential and, and value. Planning. I will show you, you know, you can see it. When building expectations are higher than, we, than what is built, they sentence houses to demolition at a certain term. And there's almost anything you can do. Physical obsolescence. Uh, sometimes, this is an excuse, but uh, sometimes it's real when proper maintenance, maintenance has not been done. And current trends in housing that we all want, uh, big windows, doors for cars, uh, white rooms, which implies inner demolitions, and commercial pressure, uh, focusing especially on big show windows. Uh, what do we have uh, to cope with these challenges? Legal protection uh, that must be strengthened. Um, only few, very few of the singular buildings are listed buildings. We also have the local protection plan enforced since uh, 2008. This is a valuable planning tool for protection. It identifies a large number of buildings to be preserved and sets up areas of the historic center where certain architectural guidelines are to be followed, like plot and height, uh, where they meet with building expectations. But this plan also presents shortcomings, especially in relation, again, with modest housing. Um, the plan makes an aesthetic approach to popular architecture. In dealing with this, conservation focuses on the intangible aesthetic values. Uh, of the facades, like composition, proportions, rhythm, but omits the historical fabric and the specific elements that make it up, like uh, modern brick portals, domestic and economic interior elements like kitchens, chimneys, alcoves, uh, cellars with their vats, etc. The majority of the houses of the winemakers' pigeons can be therefore demolished or substantially modified. In addition, there is a generalist treatment of this popular architecture. It does not identify specific historical types um, and offers weak compositional models. The plan also admits or even promotes actions that alter the original construction, like parting doors, added, uh, attic floor on, on the top of the house, 
uh, removal of all buildings at the backyard. Some proposals have already been put forward to overcome these problems, especially in the stretches of street where current level of conservation and favorable planning uh, need. And what do we do in, in practice? The day-to-day -day management uh, is decided in the Heritage Commission of the City Council. This applies for the regulations of the protection plan and when possible, the proposal set out to improve conservation. It is difficult to measure uh, change in detail, but some uh, facts. The city center has lost value in the last year. Some of good buildings identified no longer exist. However, an effort has been made to maintain the maximum historic fabric and identifying elements. Agreements have been made to, pro to preserve facades and wine infrastructure that were to be demolished in the initial, in the initial projects. In Sabadell Street, uh, uh, some original art doorways have, that were hidden have been recovered. Anyway, legal protection is in, in its own is not enough, and proper schemes should be developed to promote high quality conservation. Besides, the City Council has done rehabilitation work in some emblematic buildings of its own, the Cooperative Winery and Calcuteria. It also owns three mm, masias, traditional farms, uh, with interesting wine infrastructure and a lot of historical details that are waiting for its turn. Independent of their final use, uh, this is an opportunity to strengthen the story of the world of wine. And finally, uh, interpretation and uh, dissemination. Uh, this is a key issue to give meaning to this heritage. Actions to be spread is the interpretation pro project for the cooperative winery. From 2013, it houses a permanent exhibition which makes a brief introduction to the world of wine and the cooperative winery and explains the winemaking process through the original infrastructure. But it lacks more in-depth content of the, on the context. Just now, a new project is underway, Bill Up, which goes in this direction. The cooperative winery is one of the municipal museums and is to promote the heritage of wine. In 2021, the winery will be a century old, an excellent opportunity to give strength to this line of work. Calcuteria, no photo. This is uh, a urban mansion of wine growers, an expression of the economic boom of wine growing, just at the time of the, philo of the phylloxera crisis. Although it will house a tapestry museum, we will develop a second discourse centered around its domestic and winemaking elements. And finally, RP Pottery also houses a private museum and must also be considered. Um, just to, to finish, uh, fortunately in the last years, interpretation and dissemination uh, have been pushed forward, but I have the impression that conservation has stalled and needs to be reviewed. It is enough it, uh, what we protect uh, and how it is protected. That's the question. Thank you.